So if you want to make space economy, which is expected to reach a trillion dollars in a couple right. of years, if India has to make space economy part of its economy, more players are required mm -hmm. and more funding is also required from going from capability to capacity. A three-day Indian Deaf Space Symposium organized by the Indian Space Association and DRDO kicked off in New Delhi on April 11th. Chief of Defence Staff General Anil Chauhan inaugurated the symposium, which aims at bringing private and government stakeholders in the defence space domain under one roof. With one thing, I think one of the reasons I'm happy with this event is it's done by the industry. So I think an Indian space industry wanting to have a dialogue with the different uh, setup right. in the country is a positive thing. China dominated the event. Speaker after speaker elaborated on how our northern neighbour dominates space, which is a matter of concern for India. India's space industry accounts for $7 billion or 2% of the global space industry and employs more than 45,000 people. But there's a long way to go to catch up with China. Can't really benchmark your opponents or you know your neighbours or mm -hmm. even your friends. You don't know what to achieve. Right? So the way you achieve something, so for example, although I said that you know China is launching X number of times or X number of payloads and X kilograms of uh, you know, satellites and so on, it's a very good way to also say what is the cap capacity that they have over certain regions. So this is the main part of the goal. At the end, you are benchmarking because if you meet the capacity, uh, you, you reach that same level, you mm -hmm. can then say that I know as much information as you do, I have enough capacity as much as you do, I know what exactly you are doing and I can also, you know, have equal capability to know to Got respond. It. We should put a lot of uh, investment in this space. Okay. And I think there are structural problems of how to do it and how right. to manage it in India. I think they are largely of the government creation. I mm -hmm. think we need to involve in a big way the private sector because without your help, we cannot scale. We are about 10 times behind China in space. I think the government should make more investments which are directly towards industry, should buy back, right, reduce the risk of much of the technology in the markets in space, products and services. Mm -hmm. So we should have a view of what we need to do in space and clearly direct a lot of the money that goes into it to making sure that industry does it rather than this row of the industry. Important for both. It is important for space. It is important for others also. This keeping private sector away from whatever you are doing was a kind of a British mindset which was based on distrust. Why should we even look at private industry as someone which is dishonest. If you try to have solutions only for the security sector, it is not sustainable for the private industry. For a public sector, it is good because the government does the funding, the government does handholding. There is land which is given to ISRO, uh, it is given to other DPSUs. The salaries are paid by the government, the insurance is being paid, the working capital is done, losses are written off. But for a private industry, they need to make profits. And when they make neat and clean profits, we should all be happy. The event was aimed not only to raise awareness about the Indian space market, but also come up with creative solutions to catch up in the deaf space race. Participants that included high-ranking defence officers and big players from the space industry shared their ideas to expand the horizon of the Indian Deaf Space Programme. This amalgamation of the private and government sector will need support from academia and of course the end users. Technology innovation hubs, we have the centres of excellence, we have the incubators which are actually the grassroots to create technology research levels from one to nine. So today is the time when the startups, 
the MSMEs, the incubators and industry have to co-partner with academia to create the next reverberation. As the startup numbers in the defence sector grow, the key challenge which lies in front of the government is inclusivity towards the startups. Now there is an emergence of the new space. They are saying that we also want to operate in space. Not as part of a um, procurement mechanism who's doing just groundwork, fabricating and giving you, but I will create that patent. I will build my satellite. I will put my technology there. I want to launch it and I want to operate it. You give me the permission. Now for that to happen, because the Outer Space Treaty requires the state to authorize, monitor, etc. You require to have a National Space Activities Law. That we do not have as well. Now all the key players like startups, organizations, users, academicians, etc. look forward to the government for making a clear, market-friendly policy that not only encourages the inventors, startups and academicians, but also encourages investors, both from India and outside, to invest in increasing the space economy of the country. Uh, we have kept a team of thought leaders, very senior officers from the Army, Navy and Air Force, who are, as the lectures are going on, as the panel discussions are going on, are taking out, making notes and making out takeaways. Okay. That we summarize the takeaways and then the final validatory we present it in front of the CDS and the Air Chief. Okay. That this is what the conclusion and directions of the symposium in outline have come. Also, we are going to take out a document out of this that what are the outcomes, mm -hmm. what are the actionable points and what can be done later. In fact, the team of thought leaders is presently sitting there and having a discussion. The three-day event concluded on Thursday and the importance of this event for the forces is evident from the fact that the CDS inaugurated the event and gave the closing address with the Air Chief and other top brass of the military accompanying him. With Ramananda Sengupta, Divya Tripathi and Karan Marwaha, this is Nilanjana Banerjee for Interstellar.